Hello everybody, Dude All here, and welcome to another tutorial video. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to install mods for Half-Life 1, Half-Life 2, and of course all the expansion packs. Let's jump right into it. In this guide, we're going to be using Steam, as well as the uh, Steam copies of Half-Life 1 and Half-Life 2. Another important program is going to be 7-Zip. You can get this completely free at 7-Zip.org, and then you just choose the 64-bit or the 32-bit version based on what system you have. You can find this out by going to your uh, this PC, right-clicking, pressing Properties, and you're going to see it right over here. So let's start with the Half-Life 1 modification. I've got one right here, but it's in a RAR format. You can see that right over here. Now, to open a RAR, you're going to need 7-Zip, so let's go ahead and get that installed. We're going to press the Install button right here, and close. I already have 7-Zip installed, so if I were to double-click on this, it's already going to open the archive. But for you guys, you're going to want to right-click on it, go to Open With, choose another app. You're going to see more apps down here. Scroll down, look for another app on this PC. And we're going to go to Program Files, 7-Zip, and 7-Zip File Manager, or 7-Z-FM. So as we do that, it'll automatically open up every RAR archive you encounter. Now we need to find your Steam install directory. So we're going to go to this PC, Local Disk C, Program Files x86, go down to Steam, Steam Apps, right down here, Common, and we're going to be looking for Half-Life. As you see, it's not here, it's because I put it somewhere else, so let me get there. Now that I'm in my Common folder, I'm going to look for the Half-Life directory. So I'm going to press H to find it, there it is right there, and I'm going to drag and drop from inside of here directly into the folder. And now, Induction is inside the Half-Life directory. Now, let's show you how to find it. The first thing you want to do is close Steam. Now, closing it from here is not going to kill it. It'll just disappear. You want to go down to the lower right-hand corner of the screen, find the Steam uh, icon here, right-click, and press Exit. Then, start up Steam again. Once you have Steam loaded up, go to your library, and you're going to look for the installed mod. I'm just going to click right here, press Ready to Play, and we're going to search for Half-Life Induction. And there it is right there. There's Induction. And we can start it up, make sure everything works just fine. There it is. We have Half-Life Induction installed on the system now. Now, occasionally you're going to run into other uh, steps you need to follow. If there's a README file inside of the uh, folder that you open up, be sure to follow every step inside of there. Sometimes you'll find it with mods such as uh, Half Pain, which adds addi additional files to Half-Life. And the steps that we followed here can also be repeated for other mods for Half-Life Opposing Force, Blue Shift, and even other uh, Half-Life games such as uh, Gunman Chronicles, which is right here, Revolt. Now, let's do some Half-Life 2 modifications. You're going to want to follow the same procedure. We're going to go ahead and go to Local Disk C, Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, uh, and then the Source Mods folder. This is where you're going to put all of your modifications for Half-Life 2, Episode 1, Episode 2, Portal, and any other source-based modifications. I have Half-Life 2 overcharged right over here. We're just going to open this up. This is just a regular zip archive, and we're going to drag and drop into this folder. And after you've transferred the file over, we're going to go ahead and go down here, close Steam again, and restart it. And just like that, we have Half-Life 2 overcharged. Let's go ahead and start it up and make sure it works. And just like that, we have Half-Life 2 overcharged. Now, let's go over some more important steps that you may need to know for the future. Some Half-Life mods require you to have an additional Source SDK installation. So, when you're in your Steam directory, you're going to go ahead and go over here, untick Games, tick the Tools, and we're going to scroll until we see the Source SDKs. And once you find your Source SDKs, make sure you download all of them. Right-click on uh, each of them, go to Properties, go to Betas, and you're going to set them to Upcoming. This is going to get you, well, the beta versions that some of these mods are going to require. And that's everything you're going to need to know to install modifications for Half-Life 1, Half-Life 2, and a wide variety of other source mods. But, well, I got you here. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, ring the bell notification icon, check out links down below, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Meh.